Hi there. In this video I am gonna show you, how you can make your WordPress site multilingual. If you don't know what multilingual means, let me tell you. Multilingual means, several languages. That's right. We're going to make our site multilingual, so make sure to watch this video till end and subscribe to my channel. Alright, now let's get to it. First let me show you French language demo. Exactly like that, we are gonna make our site multilingual. So head over to plugins and search for a plugin named G Translate. Install and activate it. Now click settings under G Translate. Now first of all we need to select the languages, so scroll down. And select as many languages as you want of your choice. Now scroll up. And you'll the preview of the widget how it will appear on the site. Now to change the appearance, from widgets look drop down. Select any style that you like. I like things simple so I am gonna keep it as a simple drop down. Keep the translate from option to English, always. Now if you want subdomain URL structure or subdirectory URL structure, then you'll need to purchase the premium version for this plugin, but it's not necessary for this video. Now if you want the widget to show in your menus, then select your menu, but I'm gonna add the widget to my footer via short code. Now just scroll down and save changes. Now copy the short code and let's head over to footer section. I've built this website using Elementor, so, if you want to learn how you can make beautiful websites using Elementor, check out my video here. Now I am going to drag and drop the short code widget to my desired location. Now paste in the short code. If it looks too wide, then in the Advanced tab, adjust the padding and you'll be good. Now what if someone has German language by default in their browser, or Gujarat, and what if your website can automatically loads according to their default language and they don't have to do it manually, well you can definitely do that by enabling this option. And instead of showing the language switcher in footer, what if you want a floating button? Well, you can enable that too. Just select the position where you want that button and save changes. Now let's take a look. Here you can see, now we have a floating button. So that's it for now. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.